person fell out of a kayak. Box 31 Denver's Greg Niento spent some time with a certified rafting company of uh, whitewater safety tips. Greg, and what are some of the tips that people need to know if we're going to go on these rafting trips, which are very popular this time of the season? Yeah, again, uh, if you fall out of a raft or a boat, Ken, uh, the key phrase here is keep your nose and toes to the sky. Unfortunately, we are seeing uh, signs like these, a sign of the times alongside the uh, South Platte River and other spots across Colorado. Trails closed due to high water, use alternate routes. So we actually uh, took a trip up to the high country uh, with a GoPro to find out what you should do if you fall in. We buckled up and headed down Clear Creek with other rafters and guides with Rocky Mountain Whitewater rafting. High water conditions make for a faster than usual trip, which comes with exhilaration and caution. In this case, you are well trained ahead of time what to do if you fall out, but we actually had a guide show us exactly what to do, what position you should take if you fall out of a raft or a uh, inner tube. Feet are downstream in front of you, using your legs like shock absorbers to bounce up any rocks you may be going into. Uh, your butt should be about the lowest point of your body in the water. Uh, I cannot emphasize this enough. This is a temporary position. Temporary position, again, the key phrase there, a temporary position with an eye on either shore and to get out safely. Uh, a live look here at the South Platte. You can see the water slowly but surely making its way up the trail. This trail is uh, closed uh, to cyclists and runners and walkers. Again, uh, uh, people we spoke with said the key is uh, to remember nobody cares about your safety as much as you do. We're live here in Denver. Greg Nieto, Fox 31 Denver. Good day, Colorado. And water too dangerous even for trained